starting off the vlog as every vlog should with this gorgeous girl Boo! Boo! <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another weekly reading vlog today it is Sunday the 14th I believe yes the 14th of June and I last spoke to you on Saturday no, Friday I ended it a day early and I shall give you a little update. So I did say if I was going to continue with the kind of myth, make your myth taker route that I was going down and my TBR, I'd have to read Lolita next. However, I just wasn't feeling it and I feel like it would be a bit counterproductive for me to force myself through it. So I decided to start another train and then hopefully I'll be more in the mood for Lolita later on and I will finish it later. So. I know that's not how the rules are meant to go, so I feel a bit guilty, but I'd rather read something that I wanted to read at the moment than force myself to read something else I didn't. So, I've decided instead to pick up alongside the Odyssey, Crown of Midnight, which is the first book on one of the, I think it's the fairy route, and this, because this kind of involves fae, if you know, like it has like half fae and stuff like that in it, and I am only about 100 pages in, started yesterday. So that's how it's going. This is one of the books in the whole series. I've read the whole series before if you didn't already know. And it is the one book in this series I cannot remember anything at all that happens in it. Nothing. I don't know what the main story arc of it is. I think it's because it's the one that's kind of in between the first one where it all sets up everything and then in between the third one which kind of is the like the one that kind of like is the snowball one like it makes the the rest of the story happen i don't know how to say it without like spoiling it if you haven't seen it but air of fire which is the third book is the one that starts the main kind of story arc for the remainder of the series if that makes sense you know what i mean you know what i mean i don't know we're going for it so i'm 100 pages in i still don't really know what the main story arc is at the moment she's just doing her assassin stuff little bits are kind of coming back to me i think but who knows it'll be interesting to continue it's, it's quite short it's 400 pages so hopefully that won't take me too long and then i'll finish it and then also i am still reading the odyssey i have 80 pages left so definitely getting close to the end so i'm hoping to finish this tomorrow or at least by the end of tomorrow maybe do a little bit more reading, a little bit more reading today and then we shall see how that goes so that's the plan and then what is it I'm reading next? I don't know what's on the next on the agenda, so I don't know what will be in the rest of this vlog. But hopefully it'll be a good one. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you with another update. Okay, so I have something really exciting. I ordered, like, two months, like, in April. It's now midway through June. So I ordered in April a fairy loot box, which is the first fairy loot box I've ever bought. It's the first, well, I had, like, one or two Illuminicrate boxes before, but this is, like, a little bit different I feel. So I have never done a book unboxing book box thing before. Does that make sense? I hope you can see. I don't even know if this is in focus or not so I really hope it is but I'm going to do an unboxing. I can't remember the thing. I think it was to do with like deserts I think but I'm not sure but I only got one-off boxes because they're quite expensive and I can't really afford to do like a subscription so I keep my eye out for one that I like really want to try and that's what I have here so let's see if we can get in I should probably have scissors but yeah well we're starting now oh yeah I think it's deserts looking at this so we've got a nice cool inside there and then we've got the card so it's called desert dreams spoiler card I won't look at that that's a cool little print there. We've got, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. My cat will love this. That my stepdad will not. Oh my god, it's a spoon. Oh my gosh, I'm being way too dramatic here. It's just a spoon, but this is so exciting. So it says, there's no such thing as just a story. Oh, it's a wooden spoon. I'm never using this in my whole life. It's too precious. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. <laughs> okay, next we've got this tin that says we hunt the flame the light in the darkness the good this world deserves so this oh oh how intriguing there's two lids <laughs> i'm not really sure what this is i'm sure the little card thing will say what it is how intriguing 
shrinking. I'm not sure why it's got two bits. Oh my gosh. Okay, more paper. <laughs> We've got the juicy stuff. Oh, glasses case. You know, as a glasses wearer, we could always use one of these. And I don't actually have one for my sunglasses. So that was nice. And it says, you can't choose what happens to you, but you can choose who you become because of it. That is a very good quote. That's a good life lesson for you. There you go. Then we've got... Ooh. Magic Desert Sand. Triple blend luxury bar salts. Relaxing and soothing. How... Ooh, sandalwood scent. How nice. Isn't that satisfying? Mm. Okay. Next we have the Tribal Desert, soy inspired, oh my god it's a candle and it's inspired by Ember and Ashes. That is like literally, okay I don't have this over there but this is the Ember and well this is the third book, the next book's coming out really soon, oh no it's not, it maybe is coming out soon hopefully. And I actually went and saw Santa here and I got it signed and she did like a little tribal drawing thing and oh my gosh I love this series this is so cool and it's got a little candle oh that smells quite nice I don't know what flavour it is it's not flavour scent scent I don't know what scent is but it's nice it's very sweet don't think my mum will like it but I like it so it's fine We've got some cards. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. So I think these are like tarot cards. I'm not really, I don't really know much about them, but they've got the four of cups and the three of cups. I dropped them. Oh my gosh, it's Rowan and Aline. Is it? That looks like Rowan, doesn't it? Because he's got the face tattoos, and then that would make that Aline because they both got Elvis. If it is, fate is even. If it is, that's so exciting because they're literally my favourite couple. I'm sorry to the people that like Rice and more. I like Rice and, but I don't particularly like Feyre. I'm sorry, I know people are going to hate me for that. But there we go. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is so exciting and totally worth all the extraordinary amount of money that I spent on it. Oh, look at this. So, this is a table, no, a dish top. Dish top, dish cloth. Often the mightest things have the humblest beginnings by S.A. Chakraborty. Another favourite series of mine. This is again the second book in the series because I pre ordered the third book and it is yet to arrive. It's in delivery though, it's on its way, it's on its way to me. Hopefully tomorrow I'll get it. And the first book is up at my uni accommodation because I took it with me because I loved it that much. And yeah, oh my gosh, that's another series of mine that I love. So that's, that's the tablecloth. How lovely, I'm never going to use it. It's too precious. Okay, and I think this is the book, the book themed that comes at the bottom. Don't know why I'm shaking it, I'm just too excited. Oh my god, look at those edges. Look at those edges. Oh, should we take this? Ooh. Okay. I'm not going to read that out loud because I'm not very good at reading things out loud. And, oh, it's pink. <gasps> oh, you know, I have been wanting to read this book and it's special edition. Oh my gosh, look at that. I've literally been wanting to, oh my god, look at that. It is literally so beautiful. Seriously, oh, oh my gosh, okay, 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 look at those edges, oh my god, okay, it's beautiful, look at those edges, look at the pastel colours on them, and look, it's pink, and the roses, the roses match my front garden, so I'm going to have to take a photo with the front garden roses, even though I just did with another book, but it's fine, we can, we can duplicate, oh, have I got a little mark? Oh my gosh, this is the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me in my whole entire life. 
Seriously, I want one of these every month now. That was so exciting. Okay, I'm gonna round up the clip. I hope you enjoyed this. This was the Fairly unboxing. I hope I think I've just rambled and I'm not even sure you can hear me from over there because I'm miles away, but hopefully you can. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Okay, I know I just said that was the end of the clip, but I didn't realise when you open this one, it's signed. So these books come signed. And two, as part of the like fairy loot edition exclusive, when you open up this, look at this. Oh, that is impressive, don't you think? Oh, I so want to read this now. To be fair, I had no idea that it was set in like kind of like deserty themed from the cover. So I didn't get those vibes. And now I'm really intrigued to read it because those are one of my favourite settings of oh, fantasy books so I'm super excited oh and I don't know if this is a good angle or not but I also finished the Odyssey and I forgot to update you like two days ago so sorry about that but I'll update you now so I finished the Odyssey and make sure I'm in focus and I really enjoyed it I've given it four stars just because I don't know I've given it four stars I think it's really good I think it's gonna be even more interesting when you study it because it's a really good story like it's still a good story to read but I think actually studying it and kind of delving a bit deeper into it will just make it a lot more better a lot more better that's not that's not English but anyway so yeah I really enjoyed it if you at all interested in the Odyssey I would recommend Emily Wilson's translation of it because it's super easy to read it's very engaging and it's it's still exciting and it kind of it's just a good one to read I'd can't say how accurate it is because how accurate translations is or true to translations is is a big debate and not very easy to determine but I did really enjoy it and I thought it was really good and I think she has made an effort to really try and do right by the source text so yes I would recommend it that's my it I'm still only about 200 pages into Crown of Midnight because as it's a reread, I found this recently as I've been doing a bit more rereading of books than I normally do. It takes me, a, I'm a much slower reader the second time around just because I don't have that kind of agency to keep my focus for very long because I kind of know what's going to happen. It's more just a comfort read. So yeah, I'm, it's, it's taken me a while but I think I'm going to sit down and try and power and bash out a good 100 pages or so and get this finished today or tomorrow. So that's exciting. I'm so excited, I'm literally, this has like set me up for the best day ever. <laughs> so yeah, I shall get back to you when I've done a bit more reading and hopefully have a bit more update on what I'm going to read next. Hello, I'm back again. So I have finished Crown of Midnight. It's currently Thursday by the way, just to let you know. And you know, it took me a while, it took me longer than I thought it was going to do to get through it. But I think that's understandable because it is a reread, so you kind of don't have the excitement to pull you through because you know kind of what's going to happen. And as the more I read it, the kind of more, the more I remembered of what the ending was going to be, is especially, like I kind of had that pretty sorted. I have to say, I think this is probably one of the most forgettable ones in this series. So if you've read it, you enjoyed the first one, but you weren't as encouraged by the the second one, I would, I would strongly advise you to continue because if I remember correctly. We will find out very soon. The third book in the series is my favourite, or one of my favourites in the series. It's definitely why I remember it being one of my favourite in the series. And that's where everything starts to change, like as you can tell from the end of this book. Um, there is definitely some big changes coming. So yes, it is exciting. So this is my prompt from reading a book with a Faye main character or Faye inside it and it ticked that box so that's that done for the make your myth taker one of the things i figured out like or kept thinking when i was reading it in hindsight was if i was cleverer or more clever is it more clever or cleverer i don't know you wouldn't guess i was an english literature student would you but that's a different story so i if i was more intelligent reading this book you could have guessed a lot from it. I swear you could guess who Selena actually is and you could guess like her heritage and you could guess what... I don't know how you pronounce her name because it's the, one of the names that I just read because I don't really know how to pronounce it. You know her friend Nahimni... Nahimia? Nahimia? Please correct me if I'm wrong how to pronounce that but I think Nahimia. You could guess who she was working with, what she was doing and that kind of thing if 
you picked up on all the clues because they definitely were there when I was reading it back, think, knowing that that's what they were doing. Obviously, that does give you a great advantage, but I feel like you could get it if you were more intelligent and more kind of, I don't know, if you think about it more than I do when I read books. I don't tend to, I just tend to read it. I'm not a big guesser or plot. I don't try and pick, unpick the plot that's going to come up which I know a lot of people do like, like when you watch detective shows, you know, when people guess who they think it's going to be. I'm not really one of those people, but I think you definitely could with this one. But yeah, I'm really excited to get on to the next one because that is one I remember being my favourite books. And we get introduced to the new character, if you know, you know. And I'm excited for that. So yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, intrigued, intrigued. So that's done. And the next book I'm going to be picking up is... Yeah, I think I'm going to do it anyway. I'm totally not going on the little routes that I planned out because I just want to read what I want to read at the moment. So I'm going to do that. So I'm really sorry. But I did pick it as Make Your Myth Taker. And it's Pride Month and it's Mythology Rate. So I feel like this is the perfect month to read it. So this is Achilles' Song or The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. And it follows, I believe, Achilles, if I'm going to take a guess. But people love this book and I love mythology and I really am interested in the story it's what I think I'm going to do my dissertation on like retellings of the Iliad so it's research as well which is great we're just ticking all the boxes with this one so I'm excited to get into that I think this is a beautiful edition as well like the paper is expensive feeling if you know what I mean so yeah I don't know how long it is I hope to finish it this month Oh, it's only 352 pages, that's not long at all. So, we should get this done, hopefully in a few days. Hopefully before the end of this vlog, I'll have this finished. This will hopefully be done, and I'll have my thoughts on it for you. So, I'll let you know once I've started it, and kind of tell you a little bit more about the book, and what it's about, and how it's going soon. So, it's been a while since I spoke to you. It's not even the same week anymore, because I forgot to do the last little clip to say how I finished off the week reading. So, sorry about that. And also, excuse... The unmade bed in the background I'm washing my bedding and I can't sit on my bed either because if I show you there is a fluff ball in the way sleeping like that ain't she adorable it's too hot for her today it's too hot boo there she is what a cutie what a cutie but I thought I would obviously round off the, the video anyway um, even though it's Monday, and let you know that I didn't finish The Song of Achilles. Sadly, I was very optimistic about my dedication to the reading at the last clip, because I know I said that I think I would finish it, and I really should have. I really should have. I have no excuse, except the fact that I got insanely addicted to Animal Crossing over the last two days. Like, so addicted. I just got the, if you have it, if you don't, I'm sorry, this is probably really boring, but I literally just unlocked the kind of the bit where you can like make the rivers and the cliffs and you can change it all around so I literally spent two days doing my island and making waterfalls and like little secret paths I made a maze and just having the time of my life in Animal Crossing so I didn't read as much as I thought I was going to read I have managed to read 256 pages of it so I only have about 100 pages to go so I think I will finish it tomorrow and that will be in the start of the next week's vlog so if you fancy sticking around for next week make sure to subscribe cheeky little plug there we go it does not follow achilles as i said it does kind of but actually the main voice the character is patroclus who is achilles best friend and in this book is his lover so this is a romance book that's how i would actually present it i would say this is a romance and it is a lovely romance i think it's difficult to like say because I know how it's going to end because I know the story I know what it's retelling and I know it's going to absolutely break me so it's weird going into a book knowing the end so I wonder if like do you know when there are really shocking moments in books and they make you cry I wonder if this will make me cry because I know how it's going to go if that makes sense I'm really hoping that's not spoiling anything but who knows and I'm finding it really interesting because the only other Iliad retelling that I've read is The Silence of the Girls by Pat Barker and the relationship between that focus is obviously the main character is Briseis who is one of the girls that the Greeks raided her village and her city 
and they take her back as her pro like a prize and she gets given to Achilles and is her his kind of like concubine I suppose and the relationship between Briseis and Achilles is very different in this book. I think because if it was like how it is represented in The Slants of the Girls, the romance in this would be definitely hindered a lot. So it's very interesting seeing how the retellings are and it's made me really want to read the original Iliad. Obviously I haven't read that one. I do plan on reading it soon but I haven't decided on which translation to purchase and read. So if you have any recommendations, let me know. I am studying it part of my degree next year so that was exciting and I am hoping to do actually the Iliad for my dissertation, I know you should probably read the books before you decide, but I want to do it on the silence of the girls and so obviously I have to do the Iliad, but I think I'll be interested and I like the Odyssey so I think it'll be okay, I'm totally blabbing now so sorry. Okay so I think this is a lovely book and it's very simplistic, like her writing style is very, like she doesn't waffle, like there's no kind of every line seems like it's been perfectly curated and thought about and crafted if that makes sense like it's that kind of simplicity like it's not the simplicity that you get in books sometimes where you just think it's like unthought of and just like a bit naive this is very much like a curated masterpiece so i think it is a beautifully written book i think the story is also beautiful the ending is going to absolutely kill me it's kind of why i'm hesitating for the last hundred pages because we got to the nine year mark in the Trojan War and we all know what's coming soon. So yeah, but it's made me, it's made me really want to get onto Natalie Haynes's A Thousand Ships. So we might be picking that up soon as well. But so far I would really recommend this. I think it will be depending on the star rating on the last 100 pages. If it makes me cry, it will be five stars for sure. If it doesn't, four stars it will be. That's my prediction anyway. So join me next week if you want to see how it ends and if I cry or not and apart from that I don't really have much else to say I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope if you did enjoy it you want to like it or subscribe or do both or do neither because it's totally up to you um comment if you want to again totally up to you I'm totally blabbing again so I'm gonna sign off thank you again for watching and I shall see you in the next vlog Bye.